Please help me. I'm going to lose my job at the Ripton Fishery. Where the fuck did you come from? I really need your help. Bully, I used to- I picked the wrong question! For the okay. My job at the Ripton Fishery is in danger. I don't mean to do this to- If you could give me a healing potion- There you go. Your kindness. Here, take this. It's all I can offer you for what you've given me. What did? What do you give me? Gold? Holy crap! That will do nicely. Thank you. Wait. Okay. Madam. Blessings of Mara upon you. Hello, Madam. Lady Mara. Bid oh, you thank welcome you. Welcome to her benevolence. Well, I mean, I know, but just for the sake of this conversation, which do you serve? Spoiler alert! It's Mara. We are devoted to the goddess Mara, who gave mortals the gift of love. That they might have a hint of eternity. I know. Her blessings are many. To love is to know the true nature of the gods. Mm, that's where I'm a bit skeptical. Can I receive her blessings? Not all can hear the broad echoes of deepest dawn. To receive the touch of Mara, you must first act as her hands in the world. There we go. This is the quest. Explore the facets of the infinite jewel. Known as Nerd. Are you prepared Probably. then to help bring the light across this land? Sure. Yeah, we are. Tell me what to do. The dawn surely opens upon you, child. You must bear its light that all may see. Dude, I've been carrying Dawnbreaker for Mara ages. I'm has way ahead of you on this. reflected an image to me. At the foot of the throat and the young woman, almost a girl. Her fickle love must resolve itself. Is that Iverstead? The village of Iverstead. Yeah! The woman, Fastred. This is the prayer heard by the goddess and relayed to her servants. Return when she has seen her path. I will entreat Mara on your behalf. Okay, cool. The Book of Love. What a good quest to have now that we're married. Okay, let's go. I'm right behind nope, you. Nope, get out of the way of the door. I'm looking for a woman named Fastred in Iverstead. Ha, that rhymes. Twice. Are you fast, Red? Ah, there you are. The one sent by Mara. How the heck did you know? I prayed to Mara, and she spoke to me in a dream. She said a stranger would appear to help me. Is that you? Mm, yes. Yes, it is. That's creepy, by the way. So, what's your issue, lady? My parents are being impossible. Bassianus wants to marry me. Oh, don't marry that guy. I think I love him. But he wants to move to Riften afterwards, and my father won't allow it. He only cares about this stupid town. But Bassianus makes me happier than anyone ever has. He's a total prude. My mother's not any help either. Okay, so I'll mm, I'll talk to your parents about it, I guess. Oh, thank you so much. It's wonderful to have someone around who understands. I don't. My man is not a prude. My man is awesome and supportive, and adventurous, and I love you so much, Ahmed! You need to leave now. Fuck off, I wanna talk to you. You must be another pilgrim on the way up to High Hrothgar. I don't, no I'm not. No other reason to pass through here. I already did that a long time ago. I'm actually here on behalf of your daughter. Oh my. Probably something about the men. We all wish we had her problems. I don't tell my husband. But I don't have any problem with Bassianus. Even if it means her leaving Iverstead, I want Fastred to be happy. If they just snuck out of town together, I could manage my husband. Okay. What would inspire them to leave? They already love each other. She obviously wants to go. He wants to go. If I tell them to go, they'll go. <laughs> Bassianus is still so terrified of Yothor. Oh, well, there's that. If he that. knew that I'd keep him from hunting the poor boy down, he'd take Fastred to Riften without a second thought. Let him know that I'll watch out for them. I just want my daughter to be happy. Well, that's what a good parent would do, right? I'll do it. Sure, leave. Everyone else does. All right, fucking bitch. Have you spoken to my parents yet? Please. My love depends on it. Here you are. Yo, Thor. My daughter's driving me crazy. So forgive me if I'm a bit on edge. I remember you saying this a long time ago. Yeah, by the way, she asked me to talk to you. I'm sure I know what this is about. She thinks she's in love with Bassianus and wants to leave town. With him. Let me tell you how I see it. 
Until a few months ago, the girl was head over heels for Klimek. Wouldn't stop talking about it. Oh, uh, well, Mary Klimek. Well, if I thought she was Klimek's really in love with Dacianus, that would be one thing. But she's a child. It will pass. Why do you want her to stay so badly? Look around here. There's not much left. Used to be a good-sized town. But folks have been moving to Riften for a while now. If all the young people leave, what happens to Iverstead? All the old people die, and Iverstead gets removed from the map. Yeah. Doesn't sound great. But you think she'll get over it? You know how children are. Her fancies change with the moon. And like okay. always, the boy lacks any kind of spine. He'll need some convincing. A little push, and this would all be simpler. Bastianus or Clement. Get out of town as fast as you can. Nothing for anyone here. I got something to do first. She says she's in love with Bastianus, but Clemic is a way better dude, let's be honest. Clemic is a nice guy. So I think I wanna to talk to Clemic. <laughs> I'm gonna to talk to Clemic. Oh Clemic. I hope you don't mind that I'm in your house. Thanks again for delivering those supplies to the Greybeards. No problem, buddy. Speaking of problem, I hear you've lost Fastred to Bastianus, am I correct? Oh, Fastred. I'm not sure what happened. One moment she's smiling at me, the next I can't even meet her eyes. I'll bet Bastianus would know what's going on. He understands women. Hmm, looks like there's not much you can do. I guess not. Fuck! I wish I could make my del- Oh, f I'll bet Bassianus would know what's going on. What did you call me? I- What? That wasn't meant to be an insult. I mean that you should be bold? Wait, you mean I should just tell her? Tell her how I feel? Yes! What do you have to lose? Izmir's beard, you're right. No fish was ever caught by staying away from the shore. I'm off to see her. Good. You're off to see her? Because <laughs> of the fish reference. All right, Onovan. We're real messengers of love, we are. God, you're handsome. I love your face. Okay. I want to see this. You gonna go in? You gonna, you gonna, you gonna go in? Thanks again for delivering those supplies. Okay. <laughs> sure thing, buddy. Let me help uh, you through the door. I have something to say to you. Clinic? That's not I what I meant by tell I her how you feel! Iverstead. Get the oh, fuck no. off her! Because I would miss you. But I thought you only cared about your fishing. Oh, damn! What good are fish if you have to eat them alone? You have to let Clinic. Bastard follow her heart. You can't tell her what to do. Yay! I did it. I wish I could make my deliveries more often. Okay, yay! Oh, what's I your name again? Pitch in a little Fast more. and Klimek are together. Oh, that makes me happy. I don't like Bastianus at all. I've I've bumped into him a couple times, in 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 the inn, and he's a dick, and I don't like him. Speaking of the inn, I'm gonna go in here and see if he's heard any rumors. Just if maybe we can get some. I used to be an adventurer. Shut up. Just to see if we can get some hints on uh, any quest lines that we might what have left it? in this game. You don't look like a pilgrim. Shut up! Why bother visiting? If I were you, head? I'd keep away from the barrow on the east side of town. It's haunted. Excuse me? What was that? There ain't much more to tell. They're haunted, and you should stay away. Look, I've seen one of the spirits with my Well, this went eyes. better than I expected. When it glared <laughs> at me. I swear it burned right through my soul. Are they out in Iverstead too? Fortunately, they seem to be sticking to the barrow. I think they're guarding it. Ah. Certainly isn't helping my business any. <laughs> Who'd want to rent a room anywhere near a haunted barrow? Well then, by all means, let me check it out for you. If you think there's anything you can do, be my guest. And also, how about this? Here, take a look at this. Some of the Jarl's men came by and left this bounty letter. Okay, thank you very much. By the way, is there anyone's footsteps in which I am following that I should be worried about? 
About a year or two ago, some fella named Windelius came through. Said he was some kind of a treasure hunter. Windelius, that's a cool I name. warned him not to go in there, just like I warned you. The very next night, we heard screams from the barrel, and that was it. Oh! We never saw him again. Well, that bodes well for my endeavors. I'll just pretend I didn't ask that question. <laughs> if you pass through again. All right, let's go, I'm in. for a drink. Let's go check out this barrow. There is one, like, right behind Iverstead, isn't there? And I've just never went in. That's it right there, isn't it? Let me just... Yeah, I just have to go back to the Temple of Mara now. Shroud Hearth Barrow. Yep, that's it. That's it! Oh gosh, I'm kind of scared. There's ghosts in here? Not like I haven't seen ghosts in Skyrim Look, before, but... One of the ancient Nord ruins. Yeah. Who knows what's down there? Well, ghosts, apparently. But... Who knows what else? Probably treasure, right? One would hope. Lots of treasure. Alright, let's go. When Delius came down here looking for treasure and died, so obviously there's something down here protecting whatever's down here, so it's gotta be valuable, right? One would hope. God, this rumbling's really loud. Hold on, let me turn it down a bit. And there we go. Perfect. Alright. Health potion. That bodes well. Ten gold. I will take that. Nothing else. Let's keep going. Ugh, I'm so burpy and I don't even know why. Sorry, Onmid. You know what you were marrying. <laughs> okay. Leave okay. this place. Leave this place. Uh... Windelius and he's very dead cool I feel like if we were smart individuals we would turn around and leave but I did promise somebody I would get to the bottom of this haunting so we're gonna stay Four Ages of Mad does nothing for me. Great. So, oh. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of levers. Well, that's not good. Oh, wait. And there we go. What do these do then? That opens and closes both of them. And that one's a trap! Oh! My reflexes are on point today. You know what? We're not touching that lever. Got the door open. Let's move on. Okay. It went that way. Hold on. Let's look this. God damn it with the locked doors! go. Hello, button. Onmond, can you do me a solid, please? Still here. And wait, right here. I'll stay here. You try not to get into too much trouble. I'll be alright. I just don't want you to walk on this button! <sighs> It'd get me killed. It was probably these, right? Probably those. And this, this chest is also rigged. So awesome. Oh, I can do that! Oh god, okay, I don't want it to break. Oh no, it broke! Okay, it gives me as many chances as I need. Good. Fuck it. Hey. Come on! There we go. Jesus Christ. Broke it. We're good. Ooh. 18. What are my, uh, no. What are my ebony stuff? Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, leaving that. Alright, we're good. Almost forgot about the button, but we're okay. 
We heading out? Yeah, we are. Follow me, husband. I'm right with you. Oh, I'm so happy we're finally married. Oh, it gives me fuzzy tummies. And... Uh, ow! Clever girl. <laughs> okay. Oh, oh, God! Enough with the goddamn traps! Criminy Christmas! Can I go now? Oh. Oh. I don't have the claw for this, do I? It's another Hall of Stories. Sapphire Claw. Well, that's a new one. Is that Potama? Never actually took the time to look at this before. I think it's Potama. It's kind of cool. But no matter. Okay, I don't have the Sapphire Claw. What are the chances Wendelius has it wherever he went? No. No trap. Shocked. In there you mm. Uh oh. I think he saw me. Someone here among. Okay, it's him. And just like that, he's dead. Wait. Wait. The fuck? The fuck? Fit. Are you kidding me right now? <laughs> Filter of the Phantom. Appear spectral for 30 seconds. He wasn't even dead! He wasn't even a ghost! He, he, he wasn't dead! Well, now he is, so that's what you get for scaring me, you prick! Go die! God, he had so many! Oh, his journal. Swell. Wendelius Gatharian. I've set up camp inside the barrow. This has to be the place. According to all of my research, the burial chamber should be located here. All I need is some time undisturbed to find the claw. It must be hidden here somewhere. Had a close call today with that fool Wilhelm. Is that the bartender? I didn't pay attention to his name. He came close to entering the barrow, but I was able to scare him off by rattling some pottery shards in a bag. These people are far too superstitious for their own good. Gives me an idea. Wow, what a dick. After a few failures, I've come up with a mixture that should do the trick. The glow is perfect. I should look exactly like one of the supposed spirits the people of Iverstead believe is haunting this barrow. Going to test it out tomorrow. Wow! That is not something I was expecting. <laughs> it isn't here. It can't be here. This isn't right. It must be the people of Iverstead. They must be onto my ruse, and they're toying with me. They want to find the burial chamber on their own and keep the riches for themselves. Why? Why are they tormenting me? Why not just destroy me? I'm... Who am I? Oh god, he was losing his mind. My head is becoming clouded. I can't remember anything. I have to read my journal to rem remember my purpose. Am I a part of this tomb? Am I meant to guard it? What's becoming of me? They shall not take my treasure. They shall all pay dearly for their crimes. Any who set foot within these walls will taste my wrath, my power. I am the guardian of Shroudhearth Barrow. All who oppose me will fall. He lost his mind down here. He couldn't leave. Everyone thought he was dead. Magic from the sky sounds exciting. I want that on my bookshelf at home. Okay. So, dick. Absolute fucking dick. He was not even dead at all. Now you're dead. Get Darth Vader, bitch. The claw isn't here. It wasn't on his body. That looks like it opens up to something. But there's no lever or anything. What, what, what was that thing I got? Oh, I'm bringing Wendelius' journal back to Wilhelm. Alright, Wilhelm. I am back from Shroudhearth Barrow. Like you might not Why like what I have to tell you. We don't get many visitors through here. Unless they're headed up to High Hrothgar, of course. 
or clearing out your haunted barrow. By the way, it, uh, it, it wasn't haunted. Let me see that. I can't believe this. It was all just a fabrication of this Windelius character? Yep. I can't believe we were so stupid. Well, least I can do is give you something for taking care of him. If you won't accept it as a payment, consider it a gift. Okay. <laughs> if you're headed up to the monastery... <laughs> Are they under... Wait, hold on. They're under miscellaneous, right? <laughs> oh, that's the best fuck you Wendelius ever! He went, he lost his mind being a dick down in that barrel looking for the claw, and the guy he scared away from the barrel had it the whole time. Oh, that's awesome! Ah, oh, that's poetic irony! Moth, owl, wolf. Okay. Watch your step. Well, I'm going back into the barrow, and I'm doing the thing again. Let's go all the way back down and open the door and see what's in there.